to the throw. Looking for a slant. Shontavis makes the catch, breaks away. Shontavis from 35 to 40. He's at the 50, the 45, the 40, the 30, the 20. He's going to take it the distance. Shontavis Jones on the little slant play takes it about 80 yards himself. The Blazers make it 7 to 6. Nine minutes and 50 seconds. Blazers lead it 48 to 14. Good snap. High kick. Quinn's going to. Is going to return it. Quinn's at the 15, the 20. Quinn's at the 30. Cuts to inside. They almost just stays on his feet. The 50 at the 40. Quinn's at the 30. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. Touchdown. Kick, put, return. The flag stick for Quinn Robertson. What a run. The David Dean Show. Your weekly look at Valdosta State University Blazer football. Here's your host, Dick Rocky, along with head coach David Dean, for a look at this week's Blazer football action. Hello and welcome to the David Dean Show. I'm Dick Rocky with the head coach, Valdosta State 62, Fort Valley State University 14. And I promise you folks, we're feeling a whole lot better this morning, Coach, than we have our last four broadcasts we've done. But what a great win for your team last night, and I know it feels great. Yeah, it does. It was a little easier to get up this morning and come do the show. Uh, awfully proud of the way our kids responded coming back from a, a fourth quarter defeat last week and uh, playing a very good football team coming into Baysmore Hyder Stadium for a home opener. Couldn't be any more proud of our guys than I was last night. Well, you know, people look at that score and they think, well, Fort Valley's no good, but you got to remember, you know, they had a big win last week against Delta State. We admit they're maybe not quite the Delta State, but still, that's a great win on the road. So they're, they, they're going to probably end up right there in the mix in the playoffs. Well, they are, and, and you know, Delta State turns around and, and, and beats one of the top teams in the CIAA. So maybe you say Delta State's down, well, they're, they're still pretty good. I think it was just one of the deals that, uh, you know, the Blazers came out and, and, and played very well as a team. We played good defense, we played good offense, made big plays when we needed to, and we were solid in our special teams. And for the first time in a long time, I think we played for four quarters. We played 60 minutes of a game. Early on that football game, both teams did nothing. Then Fort Valley hit you with an 80-yard pass play. and. After that, things just opened up for Valdosta State. You answered immediately there. Yeah, that was great to see for us to come back and immediately score, just like we did last week at Saginaw, to, to answer a score with another score. Uh, that says a lot for our offense. We've got to continue to do that all year long. It, I was awfully proud of our defense after they gave up that big touchdown. Uh, the only other score that they had was off of the interception that they returned for a touchdown. Made a great goal line stand right there before the half. So uh, I think our defense is starting to come around. We're starting to get a little bit of confidence back. And uh, we just got to do a better job of, of hemming up the quarterback. We're getting back there, but we just can't bring him down. All right, Coach, we've got a lot of highlights for the first half. We'll be back in just a moment with us. Coach, a, sort of a miserable night there for, well, not a miserable night, the weather, a little bit of rain in and off or on and off there for a while in the football game, but it seemed not to bother anybody. <laughs> no, it didn't. And we appreciate everybody coming out in, in the nasty weather and in the rain and uh, appreciate all the loud support that we had. Our, our kids were, were so excited about coming out to play. I don't even think they, they knew that they, it was rain in the area. <laughs> we got a lot of highlights and let's take a look at them there in the first half. Blazers and they're all black, which has always been the favorite uniform of, of football players for some reason. I don't know. They they enjoy wearing that all black, and uh, you know I gave them the choice of what they wanted to wear in this first home opener. Uh, the seniors to chose an all black, and as we keep playing like that, we'll we'll continue to wear that. A great start here for our defense. You know I think they came out and tried to establish the run, and uh, we were able to stop that. Big play here. Great. Great stop there by Ryan Smith, and they end up punting to us, and we run a little sweep out here and, and don't get it. This is the third down play, and had a chance for a big play right off the bat, and we just don't throw the ball very well. We throw it outside instead of across the field. So we punt the ball back and put it back in the hands of our defense, and again, they come out and make a good stand. This is the very next series where they come out and they throw a deep ball and just catch us in a coverage where our safety doesn't get over there and they make a big play and I go up seven to nothing and like we mentioned earlier we got to come back out and respond and we've got a nice run here by Austin Scott and then a broken tackle there and uh, just for well, what great speed he has he just turned it on and we knew that 
the defensive coverage that they played on us, if we could break a tackle off of a, off of a catch, we had a chance to make a lot of big plays, and that's exactly what happened all night long. We, we made some big plays off of catches. Good conversion here. They convert a, a third down, and uh, we end up holding them for three more, and then we come back, and first play here, we hit them on a little post route for a touchdown to Gerald Ford off a of play action. He makes a great move. Uh, if, you were, if you were watching him, you, you could see what a great move he made to, to make that touchdown there. And then great play here by Isaiah Gresham. Uh, breaks on the, on the deep throw on the post and undercuts and makes the catch. And then great catch here by Reggie Lewis. He was, he was getting held and pulled. And he just refused to be covered, broke through and made the, made the catch and then we come back and throw the fade route here to Gerald Ford for another touchdown. He makes another great move. And uh, well, you feel good, you know, three straight series, we put the ball in the end zone off, off three really good plays and good throws. And then here's another one where we, we make a great play there. Chris Pope jumps up, tips the ball, and he happens to just tip it right to one of their receivers. And they make a good play and push themselves down the field. And then we come back here and Another great play here by Lance Holder. Lance is playing our free safety position. He had a great return here. I, I thought maybe if he slipped that one, he was going to take it to the end zone. And then uh, we bring out our freshman running back here, Cedric O'Neill from Dublin High School. And I thought he came in and played very, very well. If we can get Mesh out of the way there, he might, he might score. I think it surprised Mesh that he was down there. Great read here by by uh, Graham Craig off the zone look and makes a great fake. And we carry out the fake with a running back and we're able to walk there into the end zone. And good play there by Dominic Wheeler. Good coverage. We shut down their screen that they try to throw. They punt the ball back to us. And uh, we just run a little checkoff play right here and we just don't make a good decision. They intercept it and take it back for a touchdown. And this is kind of a, a little funk area that we went through right here. And look at this great run here by, against Cedric O'Neill. Cedric is, is a true freshman, and I was very impressed with the way that he came out and played. You can see he's got a low center of gravity, runs the ball very hard. Uh, did a great job of, of blitz pickup all night long, you know, facing those guys that were coming in. You can see we're getting a lot of pressure on the quarterback. We just can't get him down, but we're getting back there. I thought Austin Scott had another solid night running the football. Our offensive line did a great job. You can see the strength there by Cedric. And then the speed he turns on. Great block here by Shontavious Jones, hustling down the field to carry his man out of the picture. And we were able to get a big run there. And then another big play here by Matt Pierce. Matt makes the interception. And, you know, unfortunately, we just Need to throw this ball away. He just couldn't put enough on it. We we're behind the defender, but he couldn't get enough on it, and they intercept it. We turn the ball back over to him, and a big play, Matt, comes back and makes another interception. And then we're going to try and run the clock out here. And, you know, unfortunately, we make a mistake, don't tuck the ball away and give the ball back to him, put our defense in a tough situation. And uh, it bowed the neck and did not let them score right here before the half. We made a big stop, and then here's the last play of the half. Uh, put good pressure on him, and he has to throw the ball behind him. We end up taking a 20-point lead into the half, which I, I felt really good about. Yeah, well, I mean, if that, that last touchdown, I mean, that would have been 34-21 there, right there at the end of the half, and might have got them. You could see they were pretty much down a little bit. You know, they, they I don't want to say they packed it in, but they, they were not playing as aggressive as when they started. Well, when we had when we got the turnover, when Matt intercepted the ball, uh, you know we had they had three timeouts left, and, and we needed to get a first down because if if we down the ball, they were going to get the ball back, and I didn't want that to happen. So, you know, we tried to run the ball off the goal line there, and we just unfortunately we fumbled and gave the ball back to them. All right, coach, a, a great lead going into halftime. A lot of highlights for the second half, and we'll be back in just a minute. Welcome back to the David Dean Show. Coach, uh, I know we don't talk numbers much, but uh, uh, some numbers I w do want to mention. Uh, five touchdown passes, that's the most since 2007 for the Blazers. Uh, 
Let's see what else. Cedric Neal, the freshman, 10 rushes, 131 yards, a touchdown. Gerald Ford, five catches, 152 yards, and three touchdowns. Quinn Robertson, we'll see later, broke his own record with a 94-yard punt return. He held that record he set last year, and that's the fourth longest score in, of any way in the school history, and 62 points is in the top 10 of most points. I mean, it's fun to talk about those, and it's good for the players and that, that they can uh, tie records, break records. It is. Uh, you know, they, they all like to go out, and, and I told them on the sideline when, when we got about 27 points, I said, this is fun. You know, this is when you're having fun, and, and, and you're having fun now. This is why you're playing so well. we got to do this every time and, and every series that we go out there. So, uh, you know, it was a good night with a lot of big plays, a lot of good plays on defense, special teams, offense. So uh, it, it was a fun night in the rain. Let's watch the second half highlights. Fort Valley State with 16 penalties on the night. And the number you like, too, I think they were like five for 20-something on, on third down plays or something Yeah, we like finally that. were very good on third down. They, com they converted the first third down conversion of the night. And, uh, you know, after that, they weren't very successful on it. We start out, uh, again, we, you know, we, we got to come out and move the ball here early in the, in the second half. Whether we score or not, we've got to change the field position. And, uh, you know, fortunately for us, big play again. We, we make a great move. Gerald makes a great move on the post route, breaks a touchdown, I mean, breaks a tackle, and escapes all the way in for a touchdown. So good to come out and get seven points right out of the locker room. And then see our defense bow their neck and, and again, did a great job against the run. We shut down the run against those guys. They didn't have a lot going on. And here's another one where we just can't get the quarterback down and, and let him escape and get out of there. And, we just can't ask our, our secondary to, to continue to cover that long. Good, good pursuit here on the outside. We won't let them turn the corner. Great run here again by Cedric O'Neill, getting out of, some, out of some trouble, getting back to the line of scrimmage. Great play there by Darrell White, stopping their sweet play. And then here's a big quarterback running the football, did a nice job there on the on the replay, that's probably one of their most successful plays. Oh, we're very close right there. If Ryan Smith would have been able to catch that tip pass right there, I believe he would have scored on a long interception return. And then they come down here and we hold them on the goal line again. This is a fourth down play. They throw a little middle screen and we read it and make the block. And then I well, was really proud of this drive here. We put together a, a nice drive. We go about 94. 95 yards, somewhere around in there. Big play here to Gerald. You see how he's breaking tackles. And what's impressive to me is all these black shirts that are down here trying to pick up blocks for him. You know, we're flying around. I thought this was another game that our wide receivers played very well uh, when they had the ball in their hands and, and when they didn't, when they were blocking. Big throw here to Reggie Lewis on the crossing route. And he just uses his speed, outruns everybody there to the end zone. And, you got to be feeling pretty good right now. We, we go up by 34 there early in the fourth quarter. And, uh, you know, I, again, our defense is doing a great job. And then, boy, I was, I was really happy for, for Quinn here. I wasn't happy he backed up inside the 10 to field this, but he uh, picked up some great blocks. You know, there's Xavier Crane making a great block. Matt Pierce is making one. And, and just great hustle. And uh, we kept telling him, you're, you're one tackle away from, from taking one the distance, and he finally did it. He broke a tackle, and the only one left was the, was the punter, and he made him miss. We come back again, and again, defensively, we're just we're, we're stopping them down here and, and not giving them a whole bunch. And we've got a lot of backups in now, and uh, they did do a good job of running the football here late in the game. Great play here. Here's another freshman, Xavier Crane. His first interception for us as a Blazer. Big play, and then here's Theseus. Good to see Theseus come in. Theseus had a great night special team-wise and running the football for us. There's a big play there. Unfortunately, turned his ankle there on that play, and we bring in another freshman here is Eric Scott, and we got Justin Roberts in there at quarterback now. Justin's a Good solid player force, been in the program for a long time, hasn't been able to take a lot of snaps because of who we got, but you can see right here, knows how to run our offense and, and has done an excellent job. And he's really proud to see this right here. 
He does a great job on the read and run, and, and that may have been the most excited we were on the sideline was when he took that thing into the end zone. And last play of the game here, we just make a great stop, and uh, they were they took a knee there at the end of the game and ran the clock out. And, uh, Fortunately, it was a good night for us. Well, as I said, we feel a whole lot better this morning. It's been a long time, and we're not used to uh, doing the games like we've done in the past, but a great win for your team, uh, and uh, looking forward to, uh, to that momentum to go from there. Well, I certainly hope so. You know, this is something that we can definitely build on when you, you have a dominating performance against a very good football team. Uh, hopefully, that's things that you can build on and, and create some excitement. All right, Coach, back with the uh, Gander Mountain scoreboard in just a second. Welcome back to the Gander Mountain, Mountain Scoreboard. And Coach, you run through some scores here quickly. Uh, West Georgia over Tusculum, 38 to 29. Uh, Delta State recovers 26 to seven over Elizabeth State. Yeah, I was proud to see West Georgia go to two and zero, and and also beat somebody from the uh, from the SAC conference. Anytime that you know, because of, of region alignments, that's always a good win. And then, you know, like we mentioned, uh, Delta State rebounded, beat, beat a very good Elizabeth City State team. And a couple, we'll talk about these. Uh, or I mean, I'm just going to mention them real quick here. Newberry over Shorter, 17 to 14. Shorter's new in our conference. Uh, Texas A&M Kingsville ranked 16 or 23rd in the country, beats number nine Abilene Christian, 16 to 13. We'll see them late in the year. Yeah, that's our last game of the year. And uh, Harding wore out North Alabama, 31 to 10. Well, Hardy's got a good football team. They, they each year they have improved, and uh, this was going to kind of be their year. They played with a lot of sophomores and then juniors, and I think they're a senior-laden team. Played very well, obviously. And uh, I'm going to mention this school, and we'll talk about it on the next segment. But uh, Children State, 19 to seven over Angelo State, whom we played this coming Saturday. Yes, yeah, Shadron is is one of those teams out in the Colorado area that, that every year makes the playoffs, and uh, that was a pretty low-scoring game. You know, they, both of those teams have, have the ability to put up a lot of points. So evidently, the defenses showed up in that ball game. All right, Coach, back with the Langdale Honda Kia. Look ahead in just a minute. Welcome back to the Langdale Honda Kia. Look ahead and coach. I just said during the break, what a great win for us because we're going to Texas. We're going to play in Cow Dallas Cowboys Stadium and we want to feel good going over there and we are now. Yeah, we are. And, uh, you know, this is a game that from outside of our program that everybody's talked about for a long time is going over and playing in Cowboys Stadium. I think our players are going to be excited about it going over and playing where they played the Super Bowl and seeing where the Dallas Cowboys play every week. But. You know, we got to realize we got, we still got a job to do and a, and a task at hand, and we got to prepare the same way. And, uh, you know, once we'll have an opportunity to go in on Friday and look at it, and, and I think once we get in there, we realize it, you know, it's no different. The field's the same length and width, and the only difference is it's just got a roof up over the top. Yeah. And you're playing a team you've never played before, Angelo State, who we mentioned lost last week. Uh, what do you know about them? Well, we just know that they, they come from a very good conference. Uh, you know, Texas A&M, Kingsville, uh, Midwestern State, Abilene Christian, uh, Texas A&M Commerce. All of those guys are all every year are great football teams. It's a very good uh, from top to bottom is one of the top Division II conferences in the country. So we know we're going to face a lot of good athletes. Texas has tremendous athletes out there. We're going to face a team that has good speed. Uh, they're they're going to have size. Uh, we're going to have to go over there and play very well. And, uh, you know, we're excited about having an opportunity for first time in a long time to play a Lone Star Conference school. Uh, Coach, as you uh, prepare your team this week, uh, I may ask you about your Caden Cocker and your starter. Uh, do you anticipate him back next week or decide this week? Well, we'll, ha we'll take a look at him this week. I know he feels better. Uh, I don't know after, after the doctors look, look at him this week and, and, and make a decision on whether he can take a hit or not. Uh, you know, we're going to be very safe with him. You know, we don't want him to play a week and then be off two weeks and then play a week and be off two weeks. So uh, we're going to make sure he's good and healthy when he comes back. And uh, he will make the trip with us. Uh, he just he does a great job on the sideline. He was very good with with Graham last night. So, uh, you know, he'll he'll be making the trip with us, whether he's he's going to be able to play or not. Mm -hmm. And I'll mention Chaz Matthews. He missed last night's game, too. And other injuries, any any significance? Well, the only one that we had was Edmund Kuglaba uh, suffered a concussion during the game. And then, of course, Theseus Jackson turned his ankle there. Normal bumps and bruises. Uh, you know, I know Pope came out of the game at one point and went back in. Uh, other than that, I think from a physical football game, I think we came out very good. You know, uh, it was a good crowd. Fort Valley always brings, it's like Albany State, when they come here, they bring a lot of people, and they <laughs> did. And 
and it was a good atmosphere. We were just disappointed in the rain, and, and uh, but we had, I thought for the turnout, we had a pretty decent, and the students, I, I still like the students were, were there, it seemed like uh, like they always were. It's great, they they did a great job of supporting us, and, and uh, you know, we did have a uh, rain kind of dampened everything, but it, they were very loud, and, and we appreciate that. And uh, my hat's off to the to the band. I thought the band did an outstanding job, and anytime you can get the Fort Valley cheerleaders to to dance with with you play, and you you've done a good job. But uh, Eric Bradshaw and those in, in the band over there again, you know, we got to get our our hats off to them. They did an outstanding job. Coach, we don't rehearse any of these questions. I'm just going to throw this in. What what most pleased you? The final question today. The most pleased you about your football team last night? The way we responded. You know, we we went down seven to nothing, but we didn't panic, and we came back and we played hard. And uh, you know, like I said, we put together three good phases: offense, defense, and special teams. And that ended up being the difference in the game. All right, coach. It was a great win for the Blazers to get us back on the winning track. And hope we'll never say this again after four straight losses. <laughs> and uh, we, can, we can start that new streak like we did in 2007, 2004. Four. 2004, our first national championship. We lost the first game, ran the table that year. So right. let's get that one going too. Reminder, the Blazers play one o'clock uh, against Angelo State in uh, Arlington, Texas. And you can uh, listen to that game on the Blazer radio network. I think we have like eight or nine stations, which is probably the largest division two radio network in the country. Uh, so you got a lot of options all over Georgia to listen to the Blazers in that football game. And we hope you'll tune in and support Valhasta State that following week for our next home game. So for the head coach, David Dean, I'm Dick Rocky. I hope you have a wonderful week.